All right, students, this is a sample presentation for the how to project. So what I did was how to be wrinkle free. Why should you know this? Well, first impressions are important and neat clothing and personal appearance is critical to making a positive first impression. It shows that you care about your appearance. Um, if you have a job interview or if you're going out on a date, you don't want to look like you just rolled out of bed. Um, if you're going to work or any other special event, wedding, graduation, those sorts of things, you should always appear neat and clean. So what clothing do we care about? What should be wrinkle-free? Anything that people see should be wrinkle-free. So you don't have to worry about your undergarments or your socks or t-shirts or those sorts of things, but anything else that people will see. So the first thing to do to become wrinkle-free is to prevent them before they start. So how do we do this? By reading the clothing label is the first step. So washing clothes according to the care la label, all your clothes should have a care label attached inside. Don't overload the washing machine. The recommendation is to fill clothing only to about halfway full. The clothes needs room, the clothes need move room to move around to get clean. So here's some recommendations of what it should look like if you have a front load washing machine. Also, if your wash machine has a steam cycle, you could use that. That helps reduce um, wrinkles, but beware the steam is hot and it causes more shrinkage. Things like cotton, linen, and other natural fibers will shrink with high heat, both in the wash machine and in the dry. Also, there's been some recommendations to use some vinegar in your washing machine, up to a cup of white distilled vinegar. When you, um, you, you put it into the laundry directly before starting the wash cycle. There are some concerns though, because vinegar can corrode the rubber gaskets and, and tubes, so you don't want to use vinegar every time. And then use the mildest setting when you're washing. You don't want to wash everything on heavy duty, high heat, bulky. Um, all wash machines should have some sort of different settings for them. So you should match the clothes to the settings. Also, to prevent wrinkles, when you're taking the clothes out of the wash machine and putting them into, dry, into the dryer, take them out and fluff them. Um, dry smaller loads of clothes at a time. Don't overload the dryer. Clothes need their space to dry just like they need their space in the washer. Use the wrinkle-free and permanent press setting on your dryer if available. Um, the other recommendation is to use wool dryer balls, not fabric softener sheets. There's a lot of information out there about fabric softener and the chemicals and all of those things. So a good investment would be to have the wool dryer balls. Also, remove clothing immediately as soon as the dryer stops. Remove it and fold it or hang it. Shake it out and smooth it as you fold it. Hang as many items as possible. Don't overfill your dressers or wherever you're um, stacking your clean clothes. So what should you do if wrinkles happen? Well, you can spritz the item with some water and throw it back into the dryer with a damp towel on a fluff cycle. And again, once the dryer stops, remove it immediately. Hang it up in the bathroom while you shower. Sometimes the steam will help. Or you can iron. So what will you need to iron? You'll need an iron. You'll need distilled water, or normal water will do as well and an ironing board or a heat resistant flat surface. So with the clothes irons, there are, um, there's a wide range of different types of clothes irons and quality. So you just have to do your research. Distilled water helps to prevent the buildup on the heating element so it doesn't um, get rusty inside. And the ironing board or a tabletop with a towel on it or a heat resistance tabletop is what you'll need, some sort of flat surface. So again, the first step with ironing is to read the clothing label. It'll tell you if you should use steam, if you should use a high heat. Um, it should tell you also if you shouldn't iron it. Put some water into the iron for steam. 
plug it in and turn it on to the lowest setting permittable. You always want to test the iron once it's hot on a small spot of clothing. Um, turning the clothing inside out will help just to make sure it doesn't burn or scorch. And don't leave the iron in one spot. Always use a continuous movement to prevent scorching or burning. So there's lots of tips out there for how to iron. For shirts, the guideline is to start with the collar and always go from the inside. And then you can go to the sleeves and then go to the body of the shirt. Um, there's a video here on how to do it and a couple of guides. For pants, it says you want to start with the inside of your pockets. So turn them inside out and, and press those pockets down and then go to your waistband and then fold the pants in half so you're matching the seams and then um, iron with long strokes. So to review, wrinkle free starts with proper washing and drying. You should hang or fold your laundry immediately when the dryer stops. If you do have wrinkles, you need to take the time and use the iron. Start with the lowest setting and try to iron on the inside as much as possible. Thank you.